What's up everyone, it's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, bringing you another video in the supplement series. Today's supplement to discuss is salt. Salt may strike you as an odd thing to categorize both as a supplement in general as well as a supplement for migraine sufferers. And I understand the confusion. Uh, I'm doing this based off of a recent American Headache Society study analysis that found there's an inverse correlation, at least among American diets, uh, between salt intake and migraine frequency and intensity. What they found in the study analysis was that the participants who reported having the highest levels of sodium in their diet also reported having the lowest levels of migraine and headache and vice versa. So the lowest uh, uh, salt intake participants reported having more frequent migraines and headaches than the higher sodium participants. Uh, and one researcher was even quoted as saying these results were uh, counterintuitive uh, precisely because uh, the way salts work in your body help to facilitate electrical activity, uh, right? That's why they're called electrolytes, right? And uh, what, what's interesting, right, is that when you get a migraine, as you know, uh, similar to having a seizure, in fact, there's a lot of neurological, what they call cascading going on in your brain. Everything's firing uh, or close to it. Um, and that's what's partially responsible for the intense amount of sensations that you get. Um, and so since salts uh, in fact, help produce more electrical activity, you would think eating a higher sodium-based diet uh, would give all of your neurological, uh, uh, your all your neurons enough fuel to, to fire rapidly or more frequently, uh, which would lead to a worse uh, headache. But that is exactly what the study showed not to be the case. Um, and so this is very interesting. And of course, as a you know, disclaimer, there's, there's no basis to think that salt's the cure. Uh, if you see tomorrow an ebook on Amazon saying, well, you know, just drink some salt water and your migraine will go away, $49.99 for the book, make sure to retweet them as a moron because they're just trying to rip you off. Uh, I'm probably going to do a video series on uh, sketchy and borderline uh, uh, fraudulent ebooks and cures out there. Um, but yeah, so so at the very least, the study shows that there's a there's an inverse correlation between salt and migraine frequency, and this is interesting uh, for obviously a number of medical and scientific reasons, a lot of research to be done. But it's interesting for you and me as uh, your average migraine sufferer, uh, precisely because we have the ability to test whether adding more salt to our diet will reduce our migraine frequency and intensity. Right? You only need a few things. One, you need to kind of know your average sodium intake. Uh, and to do that, you can either use a, uh, a diet journal. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to a, a PDF version of one that I made for you guys. Um, or you can use an app like MyFitnessPal or macro tracking uh, apps uh, and kind of get a feel for what your average uh, weekly, then divide by seven and get your average daily sodium intake is. Uh, and from there, having a baseline, you can ratchet it up a little bit. Uh, and of course, you don't want to go crazy and just salt everything like uh, you're an Egyptian or something. Uh, did they use salt to mummify? I don't remember. Um, but what you want to do, I'm, I'm planning once I find my average kind of salt intake is to increase it roughly about 150 milligrams a week. Uh, and so that's, that's a pretty low dose. 150 milligrams of uh, sodium is basically one candy bar. So increasing... Uh, one candy bar's worth a week seems like a decent way to start out. Uh, and not because I'm afraid of any of the uh, cardiovascular issues associated with salt. Uh, additionally, below the study in the video description, I'm going to include some uh, uh, not just studies, but surveys of studies, surveys of the literature to uh, help assuage any fears you may have about increased salt consumption, maybe heart attack or high blood pressure, or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of that research is based uh, from older stuff from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and is, uh, though scientifically been proven to not have a strong base, it still kind of survives in pop culture. And so you might hear me say more salt and think, well, okay, Kevin wants me to replace my migraines uh, with heart attacks, and that is not what I want. Uh, and in fact, most people wouldn't see any sort of increased risk uh, for cardiovascular issues by increasing their salt uh, slowly over time, uh, so long as you have functioning kidneys. 
Um, and so, yeah, that's that's my plan is to try and increase salt a little bit every week and see if over time uh, my migraine frequency goes down. I just got off of a, basically having a migraine from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep for nine days. Uh, and so anything, even if a little more salt would reduce that a few hours or a day or two, uh, best case scenario, that would be great. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the new camera, the new microphone, and the background I got going on. Catch you later, guys.